Alright guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about indexing and just so we can change things up, what I'm going to do is in my GitHub, I'm going to grab this fake bank data and if I scroll all the way down, I figure instead of just looking at the same hockey data all the time, might as well just switch things up to keep everything interesting. Alright, so this is pretty much, well it's not really a bunch of users, but it would be like a bunch of users from a bank so here's a user right now and what information do we have about them their name of course gender what company they work for a fake email um, of course their balance and all of these are already inside an array so what we can do now is create the database so use bank and of course we can verify that by just writing DB and it'll display the name of the database bank so now we have to insert all of that data that we got from github so db and I'm just gonna name my collection users and we'll just say insert and inside here we can just paste that array looks good and run this alright so it inserted 35 users or people and if we clear it now indexing is one of the best ways to speed up the performance and efficiency of your database and right now when I'm just showing you guys these real quick examples and our database only has like um, like 35 users or how many players were on the hockey team like 20 whatever all of these examples whenever I run the queries they're gonna go really fast because we don't have that much data but let's say on my website I have 40,000 users signed up so whenever we search for someone it's obviously gonna take a real long time unless we learn about how to you know enhance the performance of our database and that's where indexing comes into play so first let me show you a little quick example of the wrong way to do things so if we just go to DB users and this isn't really a wrong way um, but I'll show you guys how to pretty much do it this way and then how to make it better alright so say that we wanted to find all the users in our bank who were 23 or younger I don't know maybe um we're having a new like college credit plan I don't know what banks do whatever so we're just gonna hit find and as you guys know inside here we can just have any object and I'll just write like age we'll say uh, just less than less than or equal to actually just less than keep things really simple less than 23 so I'm gonna run this right now and it's gonna return two users so this guy's 20 or this girl whatever she is Rochelle and Dalton those are the two users in her bank less than 23 alright that was pretty quick but check out what's happening if I do this I'm gonna run this um, command again and I'm gonna tack on um, a new method called explain and what this is going to do is it's going to give you information about your query about this command right here so if I type execution stats this is pretty much just going to filter the results you really don't need to worry about this right now I just want to show you guys something real quick so again like I said what this is going to do is it's not going to give you the results of the query it's going to give us information um, like how it found the query and stuff like that Ugh. man I got like a turd in my throat I just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and by the way I uh, was uh, grocery shopping the other day and I saw this jelly that you can apparently squeeze from a tube so you know instead of like the jar where you had to stick a knife and then spread it on your sandwich you can just like squeeze this one from a tube right on your sandwich so I bought it and it really doesn't make sense because I already had to get a knife out for the peanut butter to put it on but I don't know it's just fun to squeeze jelly from a tube for some reason whatever but anyways I just ate one of those sandwiches and now I got like crap in my throat alright where were we right here so it says execute execution stats don't even worry about all this but check this out it had to examine 35 results and that's kind of expected because let me clear this out because remember we have 35 users 
in our bank. It's a pretty small bank, whatever. So whenever we have to make a query, such as search for people younger than this age, what it does is it scans through every single document, every single user, and it says, are you younger than 23? Are you younger than 20 feet, 23? And it asks that question 35 times. All right, well, that seems all right, and it sounds like the proper way to do things, but obviously once you start getting you know hundreds and thousands of customers, like these big businesses, it's gonna take a real long time. So that's where indexing comes into play. I heard of this analogy before, and it's actually really good. Indexing in database is pretty much the same way that you index in books. So you know whenever you're looking for a word in a book, you don't just go through page by page, sentence by sentence, and look for it. What you do is you hop back to the index, and, I don't know, say you're reading a book about Mongo, and you wanted to look up this explain. You would go to the index, every word is in alphabetical order, you would go to ease, look for explain, and it would say explain on page like 100, 140, and 143. So it's a really easy way of looking for the data that you want to find. A lot more efficient than going through page by page. And that's the same as it works in a database. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to index a piece of information, in this example we're about to index age, and instead of having to go through every single document, every single piece of information, this age behind the scenes is going to be ordered and then the computer can find it really easily. So how do we do this? Well, we can get rid of this because we just ran it. We're going to say db.users.insureindex. This pretty much just means we're going to give you something, turn it in to an index. So what do we want to give it? Well, we'll just give it the age. And one just means true. So if we run this, then it says, it pretty much says, okay, created indexes. And I'll show you guys why this says number of indexes two instead of one. It's because if you go to DB, users, indexes, if you just get the indexes, all this is going to do is going to show you what indexes you have. It says, all right, here's the one that we just created. Age is now indexed, and by default, you know that object ID that it creates for us, you know, behind the scenes, that's automatically an index as well. So let me clear this out and I'll show you guys something new. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this command again, find all of the users who are younger than 23, and whenever we do, if I can find it in my data, all right, total docs examined two. So I know you guys can't tell because both of those queries, since we only have, uh, you know, 35 customers or whatever, they're taking like milliseconds. But if this was, you know, a huge database, then you guys are definitely going to notice a big performance improvement. Now, if I clear this, anytime you want to get rid or drop an index, it's really easy. You pretty much just, all right, instead of ensure index, you call drop index and that's going to delete it. So we're going to say drop the index of age, run this, and now I get my indexes. You're going to see that we only have that one index that was given to us by default. So now you're like, all right, obviously whenever I'm making a database, indexing is a lot faster. So why not just index everything? Well, here's the thing. Remember, an index is kind of like having an ordered set of information at the end of your book. And say that your book is 500 pages long and the index is 20 pages, obviously you can find words a lot easier that way. However, if you index everything, what information do we have right here? So we indexed age, why don't we just index eye color, name, gender, company, email, all of this stuff. Well, that's like adding, you know, 120 more pages at the end of your book. So whenever you index something, it's able to search for that piece of information a lot faster. However, if you think about it, whenever you add a new piece of information, you have to update the indexes as well. So if you just indexed 
every single piece of information, every single key, whenever you added a new user, not only would you add it to the database, but you would have to update the is active index, balance, age, eye color, name, all of those. So it would actually slow down your database because even though you might be able to retrieve the information faster, whenever you know a, a new customer signs up and presses the submit button, it's going to take like half an hour just to you know create a new account because you're inserting everything and then updating all of the indexes. So I guess now the only question that you might have is, all right, well then what do I know what to index? Well, generally, again, this is really specific to your application, but generally what you want to do is you want to index only the columns that you search for a lot. For example, if each of these users had a unique ID number, then I would just index that. And then once I found them, I could of course just say, all right, get their other information quick. So you might just want to index their ID number or maybe their name, but definitely not the rest of this information. Pretty much whenever you're searching for users or you know whatever piece of information, their posts, comments, whatever, you want to index the thing that you can uniquely identify it by. And then once you have it, you get the rest of the information lightning fast. So that's one of the cool things that you can do to speed up the performance of your database if you don't quite get it then don't worry whenever you're just making a regular website you really don't even need to worry about indexing just when you have you know um, like a huge social network or something that's when users are gonna start noticing the performance but now I'm rambling I'm probably gonna go eat another sandwich in the meantime thank you guys for watching see you next time